Thank you. Thank you. Show me your super early years sitting. Come on, I do it every year. Where should your hands be? On your knees. Lips closed. Like the listening ears. These children sat in front of you. Some of them are just two years old. And they're being super, super brave, being able to perform in front of you who are a huge audience this morning. Put your hand up if you're in the audience and you remember being down here doing your early years Christmas production. Wow, so many of you. So you know what it feels like. They need you to be really quiet. They need you to clap after their songs. Some of you brothers and sisters might know some of the songs so you can help them out. Are you ready, audience? Yeah. Are you ready, early years? Yeah. We three kings. Long ago and far away in the east, there were three kings. There was Melchior. Oh, yeah, there was Balthazar. And there was Cosbor. Melchior loved to count the stars. Every night he looked up at the sky and counted. 21, 22, 23, 24. Balthazar loved to read. He had lots of great old scrolls and learned a lot of interesting things. Balthazar was very clever. Caspar liked to go on adventures. He traveled everywhere on his best camel. One night, when Malkia was gazing up at heaven, he saw something very strange. There was a new star in the sky. It was much bigger than the other stars, and it was much, much brighter. <coughs> Malkia was very excited. He couldn't wait to tell the other two kings about the star. Caspar and Balthazar were fast asleep in bed, and Malkia had to shout very loudly to get them to wake up. Caspar and Balthazar looked out of the window and there it was, a wonderful bright light in the sky and an enormous amazing star.
Bakuza knew immediately what the appearance of the big star mean. A special baby will be born with Bethlehem. We must go and see him! The kings decided to go right away. They called for their servants. The servants were very excited too. A new baby! Can we come? The servants packed lots of things for the journey. Lots of food. Lots of water. Lots of blankets. Lots of tents. The servants worked as fast as they could and soon the packing was nearly finished. But Balthazar knew something was missing. We must take the presents for the baby. The kings thought that their present for the baby should be very splendid indeed. They called for the servants again. Come, come! Get the gold! Get the frankincense! Get the milk! Frankincense. 
Soon everything was prepared for the long journey ahead. The camels were fed and watered and they were all ready to go. Kaspar could not wait to ride his camel all the way to Bethlehem. What an exciting adventure this was. The kings and the servants traveled all night and all day. became very tired. They made a fire and pitched the tents. The king sat down. Melchior gazed at the stars. Balthazar read a good scroll. And Caspar counted the gold. But before they knew it, they were all fast asleep. Caspar began to snore. Then Melchior began to snow. <laughs> then Balthazar began to snow too. <laughs> the star in the sky got brighter and brighter. And the king's snoring got louder and louder.
What a lot of noise there was. The servants put their fingers in their ears and tried to sleep. And all the time, the big star got brighter and brighter. It became so bright that the king thought it must be morning. And off they went again, riding and riding for days and days, following the amazing giant star. And Melchior kept a constant eye on the big star. Balthazar read a scroll again. It told him that the baby boy they were going to see was very special. They rode through fields, by fountains, over moors and over mountains, for miles and miles and miles. The star got brighter and brighter. Then after many days, the king saw the little town of Bethlehem in the distance.
As they rode into the town, they could see that the star was floating over a stable. Everyone was very excited. There stood a little stable bathed in the light of the star. Malkia opened the door and the three kings looked inside. The beautiful boy lay in a manger while Mary, his mother, and Joseph, her husband, looked on. Some shepherds sat watching the baby in wonder and the servants peeped through the door behind the gates. The kings looked at the little baby and they knew that their long journey had been worthwhile. They had found baby Jesus.
The king knelt down before the baby. My present for you is gold. The three kings gave their wonderful gifts to the baby. But as they were giving them, they suddenly knew that the baby Jesus was giving them a gift too. And that was even more special. A special baby had been born. And so Jesus was born, bringing him with a special presence for us all to share. The kings gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and the baby Jesus gave us all the love in the world.